Hello and welcome to the character creation tutorial for Blender. In this video, we will go over the rules you will need to follow as well as best practices when preparing the character in Blender. To start the local validation process, open up the add-on. Make sure that your file is saved as the add-on will be inactive until you do so. Also, make sure that the location where you save your file contains all the texture files used by the character's shaders as they will be referenced at a later stage. Open the info editor as the add-on will output relevant information into this editor for added transparency. The character's Blender scene can be organized in any way. Using collections to group objects is encouraged, but the use of multiple scenes and view layers is not. This ensures that no unused objects remain in the scene. The character should be placed in the center of the scene with the lowest point of its feet touching the ground plane. This positioning should remain the same even if the transforms are cleared on all bones. The character should face the minus Y axis. The character should be T-posed in such a way as to resemble the T-pose of the example character, which can be downloaded in the resources section. Visit the Markerless Motion Capture page for more information on bone mapping and T-pose. The image, called Pose Bone Names, Distribution and T-pose, contains useful information on approximate angles you should rotate your bones for the best effect. Add-on is split into four sections. Introduction, Select Body Elements, Select Face Elements and Character Validation. The Introduction section serves as a quick information area. It explains what the add-on will do and that the end product of the validation will be the metadata JSON file that will need to be provided along with the character when uploading to the platform. There is a button at the bottom that will lead you to the documentation, as well as an info button in the top right corner that will offer more detailed description of what the intended purpose of the add-on is. The Select Body Elements section is arguably the most important part of the add-on. It enables the mapping of any bone naming system to our system. To get started, assign the armature you wish to map in the main pose armature field or select the armature in the scene and use the arrow button to assign it. The section will expand to reveal the assigned pose bones section where the mapping will take place. Show and hide bone groups toggle can help you organize and map bones in smaller groups by enabling or disabling each group fields for that bone group will appear or disappear. If your naming convention adheres to one of the listed bone naming conventions, you will be able to automatically map bones by using Auto Assign Bones button. If your character has blend shapes that can drive the facial performance, you can assign the mesh that contains these blend shapes in the Select Face Elements section. Note that the character can have multiple meshes with blend shapes that can be driven by the face performance, but you will have to choose one mesh to be the main face mesh. This mesh will receive the animation data and distribute it to other meshes. Visit the Markerless Face Capture page for more information. First step is assigning the mesh with blend shapes to the main mesh with blend shapes field. After this, you will be prompted with the section to assign new eye bone. If your character has eye bones and shapes that are controlling the gaze, you can register those bones to be auto-rigged with the blend shapes if this is already not the case. To register the bone as an eye bone, you will need the following. Assign a bone that is not previously assigned as a pose bone in the eye bone name field. Go into pose mode and with that bone selected, determine the horizontal and vertical axis of rotation for the bone by changing the transform orientations to local. Choose the appropriate axis in the horizontal axis and vertical axis fields. Now you should try rotating the bone on its local axis to left, right, up and down as to determine the number of degrees the eye should rotate in each direction. Now fill the look left, look right, look up and look down fields with those values. Note that the angle can be negative and pay attention to the values when rotating the eye. Click Add Eye Bone to finish the registration process. The bone will be displayed in the Assigned Eye Bones section. 
In case you made a mistake, you can click the X button on the bone to remove it from the register. After assigning all required parameters, you can proceed to the character validation section. In this section, you will find the validation results messages subsection, status text and the validate character button. After clicking the validate character button, the status text will change accordingly and if the validation failed, the messages will be displayed to let you know what went wrong. It is important to note that the validation happens in three steps. Cleanup, validation and warning. Some metadata errors will be related to the version of the add-on currently installed on your computer. So if needed, you should update your add-on. While others will be related to the workflow used meaning you do not want to change any information in your character scene after already generating a metadata file. Cleanup messages are symbolized by the broom icon and are general rules meant to prevent the character from not performing as expected or are related to the security measures. All cleanup messages are warnings that the character file will change in some capacity as all of these problems will be automatically resolved once the character is uploaded if they are not resolved locally. In the interest of transparency, resolution for these problems is provided automatically in the add-on. If these messages pop up, the validate character button will change to the cleanup character button, which will resolve them automatically once pressed. This way, you will be able to observe what changes took place. Now, we will go over some of the cleanup messages that might come up. For security reasons, text files are not allowed to remain in the Blender file. This message indicates that the armature you selected is not suitable for animation due to it being in the rest pose mode. This mode prevents any animation from being played on the armature and if uploaded as such, your character would receive animations but would never be animated in the scene, thus the character would not be visible. This is yet another issue that can cause the character to be invisible. If the hips bone is connected to the root bone, the location animation data would not take effect on this bone and it would stay glued to the tip of the root bone. Also, not having local location enabled can lead to the translation values being distorted. Wonder Studio generates bone rotation data in the Euler XYZ format. Because of this, the rotation mode for all bones must be set to Euler XYZ. To ensure that the uploaded character is centered and that there is no offset on it, all transforms must be applied on all objects. Be aware that this can cause the character to change location if the character was not properly posed. This pose should be corrected before uploading and it is recommended to rerun validation after adjusting the pose. All of Smooth can create artifacts when used in combination with Motion Blur. It must be disabled on all mesh objects for this reason. Related to the naming of the objects in the scene, objects cannot have the dots as Blender uses dot numeration to indicate objects with duplicate names. We can resolve all of these issues by clicking the cleanup character button that should now be available in place of the validate character button. Now we go to the error or fail messages. Fail messages are messages that appear when the main requirements are not fulfilled. These are the only requirements that can result in a failed upload and need to be followed to enable the character to work with the platform. Having a body tag helps us confirm which armature to target when applying animation data. It ensures that both you and the platform understand which skeleton should be responsible for receiving the animation. Body tag is a unique tag that should be applied to only one armature as only one armature can receive animation data. Hips bone is the only required bone. It is used for translating and rotating the character as a whole. This bone must be mapped. You should try reducing subdivision levels on some objects. If this doesn't help, you will have to optimize the geometry further. You should also try adjusting the number of particles and children particles. You may also want to consider increasing the thickness of the hair strands to compensate for the lower number of strands. When validating the character locally, all texture files used by the character need to be stored at the same location. Similar to the armature issue, you will have to assign a tag face to the mesh you wish to receive facial performance data. 
Similar to how hips bone is required for the armature, you need at least one valid blend shape to be able to register the face mesh. A blend shape is considered valid if it is properly named. Again, similar to the pose, face tag is unique to one mesh object. Only one mesh object can receive facial animation data. Finally, we can go over the warning messages that are meant to highlight any bone or blend shape mapping issues as well as other issues that might cause the character to perform suboptimally. Solving these messages is not a requirement, but it is highly recommended to do so as these issues can have a direct impact on the animation quality of the character, both for pose and face performance. Missing bones can have a big impact on the animation quality, especially if they are from a chain. In this example, bone chain is broken and cannot be established between the arm and the forearm bone. IK features are explained in more detail on the Markerless Motion Capture page under IK Bones and IK Features subpage. Having objects that are disabled in render or disabled collections will cause them to not appear in final renders on the platform. If you do not need those objects for later, please remove them from the file. As stated for missing bones, the same is true for missing blend shapes. On the Markerless Face Capture page, we go into more detail on how this can affect animation, so we encourage you to visit the page and learn more. If you assigned eye bones, but do not have all the appropriate shapes to drive them, gaze animation could be incomplete. Having all four gaze shapes is recommended. This is pretty much it. This has been a character creation tutorial for Blender. If you have any questions regarding the themes that we've spoken of here, you can ask us in the Discord channel or here in the comments. Thank you very much and enjoy. Bye.